You know, when you think of Medellin, a city of a little over 2 million population in, in Colombia, you think of drugs, you think of violence, you think of murders. Well, that is changing and due in large part to our guest on this segment of AgroTalk, the outgoing mayor of Medellin, uh, Sergio Fajardo. Mayor, thank you very much for being with us. Um, first of all, let's for our audience, let's let them know you have uh, roots back in the Midwest, even you, especially in the state of Wisconsin, don't you? Yes, I do. In 1979, I came to Madison, Wisconsin, to get my PhD in mathematics at the University of Wisconsin. I lived there. I enjoyed it very much. I got my PhD there. I was visiting professor in the mathematics department. I love the city. I love the state, and I claim that. In the United States, I am from Wisconsin. I like the Parkers, I like the Badgers, I like the Milwaukee Brewers, the Milwaukee Bucks. Anyway, so, well, hi. Um, I love the snow, for example. Which you don't get much of here in uh, Columbia. Not at all, and I missed it. Some people tell me, you are crazy. How come you like such cold weather, living in a wonderful weather that we have here? I said, Something strange, but I love it very much, and I love to go to Lake Monona to walk on the ice, something that was completely new to me. Anyway, it was fun. But you came back, uh, became mayor of Medellin, a city that, as we said, the most violent city in the world. And now, in a few short years, you've, you've changed that around. Not, it's not completely changed, but made huge progress, huge strides. How did you go about it? You were telling us that you really had to start with the, the mindset, the, the social atmosphere, the, what kids were being raised in, the, the environment they were being raised in. Medellin is a wonderful city. And we had, we had been leaders in Colombia in many aspects. Unfortunately, in our history, we were known, associated with violence and narco-traffic, that came into our city around 30 years ago unexpectedly. We, didn't, we weren't prepared for it. Actually, at that time, I was in Wisconsin studying. Now, in a city very proud, with a lot of talent, then we faced this incredible violence associated with that illegal business. So it affected us for 30 years. And we had a peak year, 1991, where we had, roughly speaking, 6,500 homicides in our city. That made us the most violent city in the world at that time. Things have improved quite a lot. We have decreased that uh, homicides rate. Now it's around 700 per year, which is a lot, but quite a less than 6,500. Actually, we are below the average, even of some American cities. And what we have understood is the following. We have to solve social inequalities and this violence that has deep roots. And the way we do it is a very simple formula, which is we decrease violence, and whenever we decrease violence, we feel relieved. And that relief, we immediately translate it into social opportunities. Our people feel there is a chance for them in life. We show them there is a path, there we, we have a better society, a fairer society, and people react. And that's what we are doing right now, moving into that direction, decreasing violence, and again, more, more, more and more social opportunities, many of them associated with education and the student abroad sense. The public educational system, we are betting on that place as having quality education for the poorest people so that they will have a chance in life. But at the same time, we are moving the city. We are changing the city's skin with the most beautiful places located in those places where there was no hope. So the, in those places, we bring all the opportunities to our people. And so, the, as I said, the formula works. You feel relieved. You bring the opportunities and say, there is a chance for me in life. So the probability that someone would think that the legal world would be a way of life every time is smaller. So we are getting better. Medellin is, every day is better than the day before. We have a long way to go, but we are on the right track. What we are hearing from you and seeing here in Colombia, that people, the citizens of this country, are working on these problems and solving these problems themselves. But assistance does help. Some assistance is coming in now uh, from countries like the United States. Here we're talking about a pending free trade agreement. How could that help you in solving these challenges that you face? In a few ways, and I want to add a remark. I have said friends are for helping you solve the problems, not to make your problems bigger. 
we have problems. If we are we face some challenges, but if if the Americans, the American people, but the American government is our friend, we need you and. We're glad to have you as partners, but to solve problems, not to make them any bigger. Saying that, then, what I have to say is the following. In Medellin, for example, we have the most important textile and apparel industry in this country. 55% of what is exported from Colombia in that respect is exported from Medellin. Most of it goes to the United States. Now, if we don't have a free trade agreement, and we are suffering somehow because we, due to the uncertainty, the, 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 the companies would, wouldn't do the deals that they used to do because you have to plan in advance and say, these guys, doesn't, they don't have free trade agreement. Peru has it. They also have textiles. So in Medellin, we are losing jobs in that industry due to the fact that we don't have the free trade agreement. I have said the following. If we don't have this, the free trade agreement, we will solve our problem. Medellin is not going to disappear because in the United States don't, they don't want to sign the free trade agreement with me, with us. That's my personal position, not the president's or anyone else. But it helps us so that we can improve our conditions, give more opportunities as we move along this path of getting better, better, and better. So that's the, the type of challenge that we face. A free trade agreement... It's, it's a good thing for Colombia. If I were going to design it, I would have designed it differently, but that's not the point right now. And we need... Colombia is part of a globalized world. We have to have free trade agreements with the United States, with other countries throughout the world. I think those are important. But if the United States is the most important partner that we have, it would be incredible that in Peru you have it, in Panama you have it, in Central America you have it, in Colombia... We don't have it. It would hurt, and as I said, but we have to solve our problems. So will the people in Medellin and the people in Colombia think uh, accept the fact that more U.S. products would be coming into this country? Sure, and that's part of what we have in a globalized world, and we have trade agreements. That means that it works both directions, and that's fine. It's our challenge. I have said in Medellin, if we have a free trade agreement, Medellin, due to the fact that we have developed a special culture of innovation and entrepreneurship, I claim that Medellin is, true, is going to be the Latin American capital of Latin innovation and entrepreneurship. Medellin is going to benefit because we have the talent, we have many qualities that would make us very well prepared to deal with the United States and take advantage of that. That, that. That's our challenge. Now, if we don't have a free trade agreement, but that challenge disappears, we will have to look somewhere else. Mayor, thank you very much. Uh, I know you're in the final few days of your administration. You've accomplished great things. Congratulations. Good luck to you in the future. Thanks for being with us. Well, thank you, and I'm very happy to have you here. I consider very respectful when you come to our country, when you come to our city, and instead of imagining what is what how is it down there then you come down here and you will see a really beautiful city in a country that is remarkable in many aspects we can look at the worlds directly to their face and say medellin is a proud city and things very good thing, things are happening in medellin so please come to medellin you will have a great time it is very eye opening the uh, outgoing mayor of the city of medellin here in colombia uh, Mayor Sergio Fajardo, thank you very much for being with us. And that'll wrap it up for this segment on Agritalk from Colombia, South America.